We're at the Heritage Heat barbecue competition, but there's a lot more going on here this weekend. Deborah invited us, courtesy of Alberta Pork, to come and see what this beautiful new facility looks like. And you wouldn't believe me, but behind there is a whole bunch of barbecue teams busy setting up for two days of cooking. And it all kicks off with a dinner and a dance, and the Cowboys is invited. So we dressed up for the event. Come with us. barbecue and beer they just go together so that's what we're doing here you're taking something old you're yeah. creating something new and and we're doing something new here today this is the first time what, what do we call this the heritage heat classic heritage heat western smoke and barbecue and we are doing it up a little bit different uh, first of all we think we're gonna have the best barbecue in all of Alberta this may be our first year and we're starting out small but watch out we'll be chasing poor Kapalooza in the, in the near future beer barbecue and a the big red barn is um, it's gonna we're gonna put Carmona on the map with us we're having fantastic steak dinner tonight everybody's gonna go home and they're gonna be un, unloosening their belts after being here tonight at, at the Heritage Center yeah and if they overindulge obviously there's a dance floor Absolutely. So we're sitting in this beautiful barn that Deborah restored or oh, created yeah. something something new. Is it important that people still remember where these these place these barns were? Oh, I think so. And and they like a, the rural country when they can find it. <laughs> you know, our country is not as rural as it was. Uh, 75 years ago. When Deborah asked you to help out with this building, what did you have in mind? When you have a place like this, you have to cater to everybody. You know, some people like the cowboys, somebody like the ranch style, and some people like the, the glamour. So when you mix all of that together, you're pretty well catered to a lot of different people. Deborah inside said we got a steak dinner this evening, but yeah. you know you guys have got some smokers yeah. running here. Can you cook a steak on a on a, on a smoker? Oh yeah, no, um, at least on the, some of the ones that we have. I mean, um, if you can lay a little bit of smoke on them and then do what we call a reverse sear, then we sear them afterwards and give them a little bit of a char on the outside, and then we let them rest for 10-15 minutes, and I think you're going to get the exact same result as you would on a barbecue with far more flavor. It's all about barbecue this weekend. Is yeah. it only about barbecue? Uh, no, the facility as well. I mean, fantastic facility for the event. Uh, great atmosphere. Great place to have it. Why have venues like this in the county? Well, a number of reasons. One, just pure economic development. This is this is something that's that's proven itself already in the short time it's been running as a major attraction for people from both rural areas and urban areas in the in the uh, province. Uh, it allows people to come out and be exposed to uh, agriculture for sure. An event like this showcases our Alberta pork, our Alberta beef, um, and our other producers. Uh, and it, it exposes them to something that maybe people in the cities wouldn't normally see. Chambers of Commerce have got a big job to play in, uh, in communities like Mountain View. It balances things. It yes. makes sure that the interests of both the residents but the business community comes together as well. So what's the value of having an event like this for the people that have businesses in the area? Uh, it's it's huge. It, it brings people from other areas. So have a barbecue, invite some friends over. That's what I hear. Come yep. come and see what it looks like. Usually we have to import somebody from KCBS to come and, and help us sort out who the best barbecue master is in Alberta and eventually in the whole of Canada. But you guys are taking over the role, the responsibility now, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. We've just become certified as a Kansas City Barbecue Contest representatives. Our meat here in Alberta is some of the best in the world. Our beef is some of the best in the world. Our pork is some of the best in the world. With good product comes good barbecue. It is heritage. It is heritage. You know, you think about barn raisins. What happened when we had barn raisings in the early 1900s? People came together and they ate and they had music and they danced. So we got it all. It's just one question. I'm, I'm a little perplexed about that. Yes. What beer are we having? Ah, oh, well, we have many. We have um, we have Canadian, and we have Bud Bud Light Coors, and I, I'm a non-drinker, so it's a little bit hard for me. All right, so here's the challenge. Yes. yes. None of those are Alberta beers. 
Should we put an invite out there? Should we should we have a word with some of these craft breweries out there and say, you know, fellas, there's something amazing happening. Absolutely. You missed the boat. Yeah. But next year. Absolutely. Yeah. You saw we got Alberta Premium Whiskey here. We got we got the whiskey. <laughs> no, you you out of jail. So we we absolutely support local. No, we need a beer. We need a beer. That's it. Good. So. No, no, I'm serious. We need a beer. Are, are you coming with Let's me? Go Let's go get a beer. Let's go get a beer. Awesome. <laughs>